Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 39. So we're continuing our training inside of the reports applet, and today we're going to look at the metrics that we can receive based upon emails that we are sending out through KW Command and what sort of kind of visibility we can get with regards to a variety of categories. So let's dive into the reports applet. It's our bar graph, line graph icon here on the left hand side. And we're going to click on our fourth tab over, that's our email tab. When we click on the email tab, we're going to get three main sections here. So the first is our account usage. Every Keller Williams agent that has a KW Command account receives 5,000 free emails to be sent out through KW Command. Now those emails can be sent out through email campaigns, through smart plans, and periodically you'll have a few other emails going out. I'm going to show you an example in just a second with regards to referral requests as well. Uh, so this bar at the very top will track how many emails you have sent month to date. You can see we're in our December month right here. And it tracks applet by applet. So you can track how many emails have been sent out via email campaigns, how many emails have been sent out via smart plans, and then how many others have been sent out. And you can actually click on view details and see all of the emails that are being counted in this mix. Next up, you've got your delivery and engagement section. So you've got six different metrics here. Um, you can track deliverability rate, delivered versus undelivered. You can track in your open rate, your click-through rate. Now, obviously, the email does need to have some sort of clickable URL inside the body of the email in order for this to trigger. Uh, reply rate and unsubscribe rate as well. At the bottom, this is a really important section. This is your reputation metrics. You definitely don't want to be marked as a spammer. Then all of your emails will start going to your recipient's spam box. We don't want that to happen. We want everyone to actually receive our emails. So um, the metric is basically no more than one tenth of 1% of your emails should be marked as spam by the recipients. So if I send out a hundred emails, that basically would mean um, if one of those emails got marked as spam, that would be 1%. If I sent out a thousand emails, right, then only one of those 1,000 emails can be marked as spam. That would get me to 0.1%. If two of those 1,000 emails gets marked as spam, then I am over that limit, right? So we wanna be really careful on how many of the emails we're sending out get marked as spam. Make sure that you're delivering quality content that your consumers appreciate and have asked for. Just to show you what those speedometers look like, let's go back to October here in our demo account. And you can see in October, we sent four emails. I think all of these emails were sent to myself. I'm at my own email addresses here, but you can see all four of the emails that were sent were delivered. Zero of them came back undelivered. Uh, I only opened two of them. So two of those emails I didn't actually open. I probably just deleted them, honestly. Uh, but inside of both of those emails, I did click on something inside of the email. So you can always come down and view the details. So what were the two emails that Marty opened? Okay, one of them was sent to marty.miller at kw.com. That's my email address. It was an other and you can see it was a referral request. The second one was sent to my burner AOL account from Smart Plans, and that was the monthly neighborhood nurture Smart Plan. That's inside of open, then you can actually see inside of clicked, which emails were clicked on, and obviously it's the same two emails. So these metrics are really good if you're getting back any bounce backs on undelivered, that might be an indication that maybe you fat fingered the email address you did .con, you did Gmail instead of Gmail, whatever it may be. Um, so you could go into each one of those contacts and determine if you have the correct um, email address for each one of those contacts, if you need to make any sort of uh, just small spelling edits, if you will, or reach out via text or phone and say, hey, it looks like that email I sent to you bounced back. What's your email address and get that corrected. Um, also for unsubscribes, that's important to be aware of if someone unsubscribes from your emails, you know, just take note of that and make sure that you're not marketing to them on any other channels. 
meaning if you have a command mail account and maybe a MailChimp or a constant contact, something along like those lines, you definitely don't want to get in trouble with can spam. If someone unsubscribes from your marketing-based emails, you should definitely you know, take note. Um, do also realize that when you are sending out emails from KW Command, you're actually using a email address that is trackable inside of Command. So it's not actually your at kw.com email. You'll see it looks like agent123456. Um, that is your KWUID number. And there is no way to change the email that your smart plan or email campaign emails come from. The reason being is right here, right? We need to track how many you're sending out and then also track what happens to those emails. So I know some people are a little upset. Oh, I'd like it just to say marty.miller at kw.com. Well, if it did that, two things. One, we wouldn't be able to track all of the delivery and engagement metrics that we get back. And two, probably even more importantly, if they unsubscribe from my agent 1234567, I can still email them at my marty.miller at kw.com. So you can imagine somebody you sent a marketing email to a year ago, two years ago, four years ago, unsubscribes, and then all of a sudden somehow comes back into your real estate world and you get the opportunity to work with them. Well, you go to send them a purchase agreement or a listing agreement and they don't get it. It's because they unsubscribed four years ago. Well, this isn't the case, right? So it keeps your at kw.com email address separate from your command-based email address so that an unsubscribe to one does not impact the other. That's it for today, guys. Day 39, some detailed metrics and reporting inside of the emails tab of our reports applet. Tomorrow, we're going to dive into the last one. That's going to be our texting-based metrics utilizing Twilio. Stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.